Okay, six solar panels on. That's how many there should be. That's a good thing. And they're not too difficult to tilt. I did make a hooky thing though. So if I'm standing here, I'll hook it over the opposite end and pull. Like when one is, one is down like this. Um, you know, pull it to help get it up. Other than that, they're pretty easy to move. Once they're, once they're partly up, it's pretty easy to, to just grab this end and shove it and get it into the more tilty slots. There is one thing I want to do though. In this first slot, I want to cut it like that so that if I lift the back end, it'll just slide right back. Because the way I have to do it right now is I'll, I'll use the hook grab the other end and lift a little, but then at the same time, I have to lift this side to get it up over this edge. But if I cut that, then I can just lift the back and it'll pull the solar panel right along the track. And that should make it easier. Yeah, I guess I should. Well, I'll do that to one and see, see how it goes. The reason I didn't do that is because when this thing is in one of these slots, like say it's in this one, if there's a lot of rocking of the boat and a lot of high winds and stuff, you know, this, the panel could conceivably get shoved this way and out of the slot. But since it's got a flat back, it'll, it'll get stuck there, you know, and kind of stay in place. Yeah, maybe I'll, maybe I'll just do it to the front ones because it's not going to get, when the solar panel's laying flat, it's not going to just slide that way out of there. Um, Maybe I'll end up doing it to the other ones, too. But yeah, I'm just going to cut that like that. It'll probably take me a few times to really get the technique nailed down for this, but... Actually, yeah, that's pretty easy to move. Once they're up out of the first slot. All right, now when I put this down, I don't want the back side to slap down, which is another reason I have the hook thing. Oh, come out of my hands. Oh, it's still in. All right, so that gets to that slot. And this one. Oh, nice. Okay, so before, I had to hook back here and then lift on this side at the same time, which was kind of annoying because I had to get both sides out of their slot before I could lift back there. But now hopefully... Ah, yeah! Just had to pull it right. Yeah, that is, that is much easier. And you know what? Since I just have to lift one end, I don't even have to hold this end. I should be able to lift these from under the boat, just reach my arm up, push them up. So if I'm driving with all the panels down and the sun's over on one side and I want to lift one side, yeah, I should be able to just do it by, by lifting uh, from the bottom. At least to get it into the second slot. But then I don't know if I want to do the same thing I just did to this next slot, which would make it easier to move to the next one. Because I don't want it to, no, nah, you know what? It probably would be fine if I did that. Because the way this panel is right now, it's got so much pressure pushing this way. It's, 
I don't imagine I'm ever going to be in such rough seas that the panel is like lurching that direction. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's fine just like that though. Yeah, I'll get this. I get all these first slots trimmed and I think it'll be good. And then I can trim any other slots I feel like in the future. You know, it is so nice having access to the panels like this. My other boat over here always gets leaves on the thing. And it's kind of a pain <laughs> getting the leaves off. Like I'll have to close one panel to reach the next one or lean over with a paddle and I can, it's hard to get the leaves on the back. This, I can wash the panels, get the leaves off, no problem. I still have to wash this one. I washed all the other five, but I didn't wash this one before I put it up. This was the first one I did. All right, what's next? I can put the motor on. Oh, if I'm using that motor, that's the motor that came off, so it would be the easiest one to put back on. Motor or wires? Or go cook an omelet. I think I'm gonna go cook an omelet. Oh, that was a tasty omelet. Okay, now I've got this motor here and this was originally the part of some outboard and then all this stuff I put together and then this is an electric motor that I stuck on top and you know attached to the the old gas engine attacherizer. Now I think I'm just going to put this back on the boat because it's already got the thing it's all ready to go. I might end up changing the motor however I think this is a good place to start. Um, before I take it out though, I kind of want to look inside it. So oh, good. That screw comes loose. I hope all these screws come loose. Come on. Oh, that one moves good. Yeah, I've definitely got some rust on the surface. Hopefully it's not in there too much. It's probably like some wasp nest or something. Oh, that one's sticking. Come on, move. Oh, good. Yeah, I think I'll just uh, open the motor, you know, oil it a little, clean it. Oh, let me see if I can. Okay. It's not supposed to stay in there. It doesn't look too bad in there. You know, a bit of rust, but to be expected. In here are all the brushes. Ah, just first glance, everything looks fine. I'm just going to do a bit of cleaning, maybe with a paintbrush. Put a bit of oil in everything, and yeah, hopefully it'll be fine. Actually, you know what? If I turn the propeller, yeah, might be able to see that moving in there. Yeah. Well, it seems to be spinning pretty easily. It's a good sign. It's a little bit scratchy. There might be some dirt stuck in there. Wait, what is that? Something sticking. Ooh, you know what? I think some rusty bits from here, dirt and stuff, is falling down in there. There's not a lot of space between the spinny part and the not spinny part, so I might be getting some gunk stuck in there. However, I do have a super powerful vacuum cleaner. It uses a lot of electricity, but I think I can turn it on for a few seconds and, you know, suck this sucker out.
think I'll just paint a little oil on. Oh yeah, definitely up there. And down here, around these things. Oh, I just remembered one other thing I have to check. Down here in the bottom, oh, come on, son. Um, I need to check the oil in here. And there's a little screwy plug down here I can use to drain the oil. And then a screwy plug up here I can use to put oil in. And uh, Man, I'm getting some really bad lighting right now. Ah, I, I kind of want to just check how much oil is in it and what it looks like. It might be fine. I haven't used this motor in years though. So I guess I need to take this plug out and have a container under and just see what starts coming out. And I'm going to leave this one in so that whatever comes out comes out real slowly. So I have a chance to put this back in if it looks fine. All right, I guess I'll just do it. All right, I couldn't get this plug off. And then I remembered, yeah, that's when, that one's been sealed since I got it. I got this one off and there's definitely oil in there. Mmm, doesn't look great. I don't think it should be gray like that. But, uh, but, I'm just going to leave it for now. Um, you know, this crappy oil should be good enough until I can go get some gear case oil and replace it. Yeah, it'll be fine for a little while. I mean, this whole thing is so old <laughs> and used. Uh, all right. There's one other thing I want to do to the motor before I put it back on the boat. I mean, besides paint it, I'll paint it after I get on. This is the part where it swivels. And I want to get some grease in there. Because I want it to be able to swivel kind of easily. More easily than it has been. So I've got some grease here. You know, maybe I have to put some oil in there because it's going to be hard to get grease to go down in there. Yeah, maybe I just get some motor oil and kind of drip it in there. Otherwise, I have to take this whole thing apart, take the whole thing off, pull out the thing, grease it, then put it all back together. Nah, I don't want to do all that. Yeah, I'm just going to get some motor oil and stick it in there. Because you know what? The truth is, I don't know if I've ever oiled that, and it's been, you know, functioning. Here though. Might have to do a bit of trimming. Whatever. I attached three pulleys back up here. I had to take them off when I removed the roof. So hopefully this thing works. Oh. I think I have to put some grease on this too. Yeah, definitely have to grease that up a bit. Whatever, it's working. All right. Oh, right into the water. Okay. And hopefully, if I pull that, oh, well, one of my pulleys just broke. <laughs> Crap. Oh man. I guess it's been in the sun too long. Well, maybe I'll just skip that pulley. I can lift it with one. Fewer. Yeah, I gotta get some grease on there. Here's the pulley that broke. <laughs> so what it used to look like was 
Well, it's fine when you can actually see, yeah. Little red wheels in there. I guess that one was in the sun for too long. It got brittle and broke. Well, I don't think I need it. Oh, I do have another one. I have another one. Oh, it's a low tide right now. All right, so yeah, I just have to attach the steering. So I guess I need to put that down, put my rudder down. All right, I've got my rudder pretty much straight ahead. I think a little bit. Well, the other way, stupid. Yeah, okay. Well, that looks pretty straight. Okay, now I'll get my motor straight. Well, that looks pretty straight right there. Yeah. Okay, now I need another little steel pipe from here to here. Like just another one of those. Okay, piece of cake all connected and with any luck, when I turn this, this guy will rotate. Oh, beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. Oh, I love the steering. Okay. And if I'm lucky, really lucky, I can pull this motor up and leave this attached. Hmm. And if not, well, I don't want to, I don't want to disconnect it from this end because the threads are through the steel part and I've got a nut on each side so it's locked into the steel rod so that there's a smooth part of the bolt going through the plastic thing that's loose. So to take this off, I, it would be kind of a pain in the butt. However, if I just took this nut off and just laid this on there, it would probably stay. Anyway, let me just see if I can pull the motor up and have it not be an issue. All right, motor, let's go. Oh, I don't know if I can leave that like that. I mean, it, it goes up fine. But sometimes I'm going to want the motor out of the water when I'm still using the rudder. The rudder, I think, will pretty much always be in the water when I'm driving. But sometimes this guy's going to want to come out. And I don't know if that's going to... I don't know. Looks like... Oh, looks like it's all right, actually. Yeah, I can still use the rudder, even with the motor up. All right, I don't have to do any fancy tricks. Oh, that's great. Okay. Oh, I think it's done. Ooh, nice. Oh, I got to cover the motor with something. Okay, I used chip bag is obviously not going to be the permanent solution. However, well, if it rains tonight, that'll be fine. <laughs> I also wouldn't want to run it with that on it because it's going to, you know, cut off the airflow. But anyway. That's fine. I'll find something to stick on top of there. Uh, but now it's not urgent. You can do it whenever. Well, next is wires from the solar panels through some switches and gobbledygook to the motor. And I, should, I can drive it then. Ooh, I mean, I could drive it now just on the pedals. But yeah, I get the wires in there. I can motor. 